want sex. Cool. Now I want money. So now that everybody uncomfortable, am I wrong? Chat. Hey y'all, hey, if you're new, hi. If not, welcome back, babes. We're getting ready for a little chit chat, doing my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. Thank you to those that submitted via Instagram and let's get started with the double cleanser of the night. Here are clips of me using the Fenty Cherry Dub Scrub, which works wonders for brightening and dark spots. My second cleanser is antibacterial soap. Yes, it helps prevent and get rid of your acne. I'll link my TikTok below, which explains more. Now we're back and we're using the No Beauty Clay Mask. Love this down. Ever since Vanessa Hudgens and her team sent me this, I make this at least a weekly routine. I apply a very thin layer and leave it on for five minutes or more. Thin, very thin, and fast drying AF. So, yeah, use your discretion, girls. This is also fantastic, by the way, when you have fresh pimples. I got a few questions about dating. So, my answer is pretty much an overall response to everyone. So, let's get into it. Why is dating so hard? Girl. Before I provide my opinion, I do have a question though. Is it that dating is so hard or we make it hard? Or are we trying too hard? Think about it. True tea about how me, she, her, Miss Stay Lee, actually dates. I naturally let the men come to me. I am a firm believer in like pray for that guy, that Sierra's prayer, like all that stuff, right? But I'm also a firm believer in just because you're praying for something doesn't mean that that's necessarily what God has in store for you, especially right now at this time. I'll carry on. We have to work on ourselves first and foremost. And I think that that's where a lot of people lack. That's why I said, or are we trying too hard when it pertains to dating? Most of us date and we don't even know what we want for ourselves. But we're very quick to know what we want from the partner. Or a lot of us date and we don't know the characteristics or the likes and the dislikes that comes with people and boundaries and just life and lifestyle and adulting. All the above so what you liked when you were 17 you're not gonna like when you're 27 you're probably not even gonna like it when you're 30 so I always suggest to work on yourself love yourself learn what it's like to be by yourself some of us have been in relationships since we were in high school or even college and then when you become an adult now you're a full-grown woman are those the characteristics and the things that you liked back then that you're gonna like now maybe maybe not but do we learn how to really be by ourselves? Do you take yourself out on a solo date? Do you treat yourself? Do you know what you genuinely like? If somebody was to ask me what is five things that I would like, I would be able to tell them. Working on yourself then helps you build that strength, confidence, and knowledge to even know what type of partner you even want. So you could pray for that partner all you want to, but if you don't know yourself, then what's the point? How is he or she supposed to know how to treat you and you don't even know how to treat yourself? Boom! Come on, I'm coming with it. First question, bang, bang, bang. Just shooting you bitches up. You wasn't ready, huh? Get your wine. We gonna talk. Get your wine ready, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm coming hot. Keep working on yourself. Because the more that you're working on yourself and the more that you're focusing on yourself, that partner is literally just going to drop into the palm of your hands you that's what I mean when I say I let them come naturally to me I could be so work dedicated I could be so self-care dedicated I could be friend and family dedicated that man is just going to come to me because I'm not even checking for him you feel me I think she's dry guys next question is manifesting and like manifest and mood boards so I would assume that that question is pertaining to like, how do I make mine? So I highly, highly suggest Canva. 
they have a free version you could even create anything you want you could even upload photos from like google images or your camera roll into there of course certain things are free like certain i mean paid like certain fonts certain um what they would call elements but i've used canva free for a very long time even with clients even for myself you can you can save it to the camera roll in your phone you could print it out as a pdf and when I mean print, I mean just digitally save it. So you can always have it. Also, when in doubt, if you're traditional, you can always take newspaper and magazines, cut them out, some of your favorite words or, you know, travel inspo. Very like throwback manifesting boards. But if someone is the type that they like to physically see something, makes sense. If you're more digital, I highly suggest Canva. Now my face is dry, so I'll be using the Hero Rescue Balm. If you scar like these, like me from your pimples, this works fantastically. The next, it's not even a question, it's just so cute. This person said, love who is loving on you. And I, thanks boo, I love it too. That's my boo boo. The third question is talk about all of these celebrity breakups and tips on staying focused on career girl uh, and tips on staying focused on career goals. There we go. So, okay, we're going to talk about the celeb stuff first to get it out of the way. I'm going to pop some acne cream onto one of these. Cause they feel a little more elevated than I thought it was. Kind of just let that sit for a second. I always just let things sit, girls. But honestly, like certain celebs, I'm surprised to see break up. I guess, for example, like the most recent would be like Jeannie Mai and Young Jeezy or Jeezy, how, or whoever he go by these days. But honestly, I'm not surprised because, like, if the poor people break up the makeup and then get back together and all that shit that we go through then imagine the rich like of course the rich is gonna go through shit as well because everybody is still human in the end of the day so do celebrity breakups really surprise me not really i think we get or we glorify celebrities so much more due to pop culture and things of that where we kind of are a little bit more like at gas. Like, oh my God, they broke up. I would have never thought. Like, if Beyonce and Jay-Z got a divorce, <laughs> life still goes on, baby. Is it a little heart-wrenching? Sure. But is it like, I'm about to start a petition over it? Absolutely not. While I'm answering part two to that question, I'll be applying Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, as well as Aquaphor. Yes, you heard me aqua for i will link my tiktok down below so you guys could get the gist of half of these acne related you know i have a full acne routine once you see you'll get it i will say staying focused on career goals is not easy and it's not because you can get distracted but someone like me for example i've been actively doing youtube for three years I've actively been taking content creation like seriously as a influencer for three years. And I have accomplished so much thus far. And the worst part about it is just discouragement and having to keep the faith and not the faith in like your believer as, in religion purposes, but I'm saying the faith as in like, you didn't start this shit for no reason and you don't want to have to go back essentially to where you came from. So I've been entering myself into the field for like the past five years now. So the moral is 
you have to find your words of affirmation that even goes back to the dating you have to find the work-life balance you have to find the self-care the self-love all those things that entrepreneurs and other business women and men would talk about because you have to find that peace you have to find the inner love the inner peace the inner self-discipline you should journal the fuck out of your life reflection perseverance even finding people that is within your field to help you so whatever field you're in i always suggest to find people that you can trust that is within that circle doesn't mean y'all gonna be best friends doesn't mean none of that but we get one another and those that help you get one another is going to help you you're kind of like building your community or your village if you will keep your eye on the fact that you do not want to give up and you do not want to lose whether you have a lending ear or not that's what journaling and praying is for it works every time and now it's time for serums i always use two one is going to be catered to the dark spots and the other one is going to be catered to plumping rejuvenating the niacinamides and all the good stuff so we're going to use the lancome clarifique and coco kinds ceramide barrier lancome i highly highly suggest to pump into the dropper and pour it into your hands it is too liquefied to just use as a normal dropper it's gonna squirt all over the place just saying this question is friends that are territorial is this a bad trait if we're considering territorial as overprotective then no because i'm an overprotective friend too <laughs> protective friend that's going to leave you alone i'm the protective friend that minds my business i'm the protective friend that if you call me and tell me that like he cheated on you then i'm the protective friend that's going to be like so where's his car okay but yeah i'm naturally just a loving caring overprotective person but if you're the type that or if that friend is the type that they're not letting you breathe you can't eat drink sleep pee shower or nothing without them knowing you can't hang out with nobody can't kick escape with nothing yeah that that's when we have a problem and that's definitely a bad trait and that's definitely when i wouldn't even tell them about themselves i would just be like bye cut that bitch off if that friend is not coming from a loving caring genuine place cut the bitch off mm -mm. ain't worth it ain't worth it what you what you holding on to them for bad trait territorial like what i kind of need more but that that's my that's the gist of what i'm trying to say child moving on to moisturizer nivea soft it works for face hands and body bitch get you this I use this or I use Pons or Coco Kinds Polypeptide Moisturizer. Those are my top three right now. I use this or Pons specifically because all the acne related things that I'm using, of course, is going to dry my skin out. So we need things to replenish and restore, especially if you're normal to dry like me. Well, sorry, I'm normal to oily, but my skin is currently normal to dry due to half of the AHAs and the APCs and one, two, threes that I just added to my skin. You feel me? You feel. I believe this is the last question. It says, baby, <laughs> he wants sex. Cool. Now I want money. So now that everybody uncomfortable, am I wrong? Child. They done came to the right place, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! By the way, I have used this with no primer. This was the primer pre-makeup. Chef's kiss, it came out flawless. I didn't apply as much as I did just now, but bitch. 
All right, all right, all right. So remember, y'all, we family on here, so so no judgment to this question, okay? We all family on this channel. But friend, you're not wrong. You're not wrong for wanting money or anything. You're wrong for not establishing it in the beginning so you didn't waste your time giving up the cat for something that you would have already gotten that confirmation of the yes or the no. If you would have set it up front and then you would have been able to read the room then you would have been able to walk out of the room because then you would have already knew what it was. Just be open and honest up front so you can avoid wasting any time or avoid any discomfort. Lastly, this is one of my favorite, favorite overnight mask of all time. Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Mask. Baby. You will wake up with the skin of your dreams after using this. This is like one of the few items that is helping to brighten this area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't forget about the lips. The inky list. The Inky List sent me the Tripeptide Plumping Balm. And being a smoker, I can definitely tell when something is hydrating. It does say plump, but not the plump to the point that you feel a tingle. It just plumps to like restore and hydrate and replenish. I do have a little bit on my lips now, but it does come out just a natural clear. show you guys so it comes out like a little tannish clear and you don't need that much of it and then boom I love it because you don't have to touch anything it doesn't smell really like anything and I'm starting to understand these peptides honey because it's was plumping and getting it going Thank you for watching. Thank you to those that submit. Always look out on my community tab on my YouTube channel to get updates, to answer polls, any questions. It is always going to be easier though for me to see these and receive these submissions on Instagram due to the, it just being naturally private. YouTube sadly does not have that option for us here. But if you don't have an Instagram, feel free to use Twitter or TikTok and just, you know, let it be known that it is for chit chat so I can incorporate your response into the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And talk to you later. TTYL for now. Bye.